So basically, he's telling me how to access a secret area. Um, but the gift he, he is asked, basically saying he's going to give me is not much of a gift. But we will go ahead and accept that gift shortly enough. Uh, let's activate some antidotes. And so I've run past a few giants. These are basically the... Um, yeah. These are the naked version of them, I guess you could say. Woo! One hit KO. Okay. So as you can see, the lack of HP is really starting to hurt me, quite literally. Um, but that's okay. They, these guys are like some of the only ones that are going to hit hard enough to really be a big concern, and I can, for the most part, just avoid them. Um, but just got to wait for the respawn and run back. up all of my stamina. Alright, let's try that again, this time just running straight past them. Something got killed, I don't know how. But we're gonna climb this really tall ladder and this is gonna take me out to an area that we have been before. Some of you may recognize this. Yosefka's Clinic. This is the very beginning of the game. So that is a uh, pretty interesting little shortcut. Shortcut, I mean, not exactly convenient, but it does serve a purpose and possibly have an inter interesting explanation. Um, which we will get into in just a minute. Need to get one thing. Oh, okay, that thing hits, takes way more time to kill than I thought, so... Look at that. There's a ladder here. Yeah, those things are sturdy as hell. Uh, I'm not looking forward to a later area in the game that has a ton of them. 
Okay. Don't fuck with me, crows. Okay. So this is the back of Yosefka's clinic. If we go this way... We're gonna see some really weird stuff. So this thing looks very non-human, um, but if you look closely, the hand on this side versus the one on this side the left hand is still very human-like. Um, basically what is happening is from the first time that you meet Yosefka, um, up until you, right after you beat Father Gascoigne, that is normal Yosefka. After Father Gascoigne, you meet essentially what is imposter Yosefka. Um, and she is in this clinic and she asks you, to send people to her um, for safety. But really, what she's doing with these people is she is turning them into those creatures. Yeah, so I'm going to leave her alone. Um, A, because it is an incredibly difficult fight for this level of the game, especially with me not having leveled up. But also, um, I need her alive until later in the game. Um, because I, I'm going to get something from her, just like I'm going to get something from Ariana, that will allow me to um, fight the final... Um, Kind of a secret final boss, I guess you could say. And this is going to let me get to a new area. And this is one of the things that was on the slab. As you can see, and here maybe, very much not human anymore. Let's kill it. And what do we find when we search the corpse? Yosefka's blood vial. So the, the most popular kind of theory is that this is the original Yosefka. Um, it was turned into one of these celestial emissaries by the imposter. Um, and any other person you send here will also be turned into one of these creatures. So generally speaking, unless you just don't care. Um, you don't want to send people to Yosefka's clinic for quote unquote safety. So I've got the Kanehurst summons. I've got the tonsil stone, which don't trust me when I say do not Google that. Um, and I have what I need to go to the DLC. So let's go to 
the Nightmare Frontier first. And basically what I am doing is I am trying to get um, what are called Bloodstone Chunks, which I need to upgrade my weapon. Uh, I need a total of 16 of them to get it to a plus um, 9. I need 3 to get it to a plus 7, 5 more to a plus 8, and then 8 more to a plus 9. And I believe I can get 4 in total from the uh, Nightmare Frontier. Oh, too soon. Sorry, guys. Oof. Okay, I've tried fighting these guys before. I think they are too strong for my current weapon level, so I am just gonna run by them. They were gonna follow me. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck you, executioners. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'll be back for you guys. Just to make out the thing that just grabbed me. This thing. Oh, Amidala. Oh, Amidala. <laughs> Have mercy on the poor bastard. <laughs> yeah, so the guy in the house that sent me here is kind of a dick. In fact, for anybody who is familiar with Dark Souls, um, you might know of the character known as Patches. He's the one that sent me here. He's not a nice guy. Okay. That is okay, because we wanted to be here. In fact... Yeah. Patches kind of sucks. So this is the part of the game where we really start to... Like, I'm going to this area way early, but we're right now, if you're following the main critical path, you're starting to get a real glimpse, glimpse of the fact that, like, this is not all just, like, beasts and, and beast men. Um, and the, the Nightmare Frontier is actually kind of a huge hint at what is going on in this world. Um, and basically what it kind of all comes down to is, is this is not, in fact, um, this is not about werewolves like a lot of people were originally led to believe. Um, this is actually, uh, did I just get stuck? Okay. Let's see if I survive that. Good. So this is actually a Lovecraftian horror game, basically. Um, what is causing all of these people to turn into these grotesque beasts is the blood of, of essentially um, giant otherworldly monsters. I'm just going to roll in past this. Roll in. Roll in. Ooh. All right. So, 
hopefully... Okay. So, you're gonna hear that singing. That is the thing that's causing it, and I cannot let it see me. Um, those are known as winter lanterns, and if they see you, they inflict this um, status effect on you called frenzy, which will, in most cases, um, well, it'll do about 70% of your health once it, it activates. Um, and they don't have to, like, touch you to do it. In fact, you'll see it's, it's activating right now. Um, they just have to see you. So, oh, crap. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, did not mean to fall down there. Um, so yeah, they are basically, the idea behind Frenzy is they are basically driving you mad just by looking at you. And the Frenzy activation is essentially like you going insane. Um, so it, it's, it's not fun. It's kind of an awful mechanic. And it's not even remotely close to what I would consider fair. Um, it becomes very difficult to deal with. So it's usually best to just avoid it if at all, if at all possible. Uh, there's supposed to be another thing here. Ah, fuck you. Let's see if I can just run past this guy. Okay, let's unlock a shortcut real quick. I'm going to bounce back to the Hunter's Dream real fast, reset the world, and then see if we can't get those other two Bloodstone Chunks. So we've got two. Uh, I need at least one more to be able to get my weapon to a plus seven. And if I remember right... that, but that's okay. Certainly doesn't hurt. 